All right, you're welcome back to the Balanza Head of Teletainment this morning. Now, if you check your Agogo, you go see this level, hold on, sit down, gallantly on top. Now, the one we concern, one of the stories we will carry yesterday, and then an ongoing story because they, uh, we, they get updates and the story still they develop. Now, it concerns ASO and the federal government right now, but not on the minimum wage matter. That one, not another story entirely. Um, it concerns the integrated um, payroll, that now the IPP. Uh, the Integrated Personnel Payroll Information System of the federal government, because right now we don't get information. So federal government, they talk, say, if any staff of any of the universities not, never register or never sign up on top of this system, um, come tomorrow, will be October 31st, will be the deadline, they go cut that person off, and that person will go, they get in salary as that when due. And of course, as done, they fight this one for so long right now, um, and as, especially as the federal government bring up this this new payroll system. They ask they come outside the talk, say, first of all, they be like, say, that system, na scam. Secondly, it gets so many loopholes. Thirdly, it won't come out the power where certain, um, governing universe, certain governing joint body group for inside university, they get in terms of the way, where their payroll system, they actually work. And we don't bring an analyst inside the studio now. We go chuck him out on top of this one. Because in a person, we don't they follow him for quite a while now. And himself, na Sabinus for inside the own field. Uh, we get Adeni Yikunu, in the building. Welcome. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Now, do well. uh, now, what's what's morning with this? I know the rain just actually blessed us this morning. Now, with the fact that us don't give warning, say very soon nationwide strike will day, and we know say the deadline of tomorrow. Make we understand what in this particular system be all about. Tell us more concerning this, this integrated payroll personal, and payroll personal information system. Make we know what it be in the first place. Um, in the first place, make we talk say. The reason why we get that payroll system, now for them to address issues, we concern when some people, they collect salary when they no work, especially those with the uh, civil and public service. A situation where it be say they go say, okay, for civil service, so, now one million people, they collect salary, whereas now 700,000 people, they collect salary, and they know, say, Anybody with them captured there, it go be difficult because for you to give two name or for you to talk, say, ah, no, I know they do risk them. Immediately they don't capture you with your number. Because I know, say, when I work with government before, myself, I did captured back then. Mm -hmm. uh, and they ensure, say, okay, everybody collects, waiting be their entitlements without delay. But even for that system, I also know people will be, say, for one year, they no collect their salary. Then go the rights to the IPPS regulator where the Abuja say, I beg go, when I do mistake, oh. some people say if they go do mistake at times, reduce their salary. All those kind of errors, we know they peculiar to our own payroll system, if they happen. But as this matter they concern university, it get what they call Universities Establishment Act 2003, especially portion 2AA, where it be say concern university autonomy. In the first place, university autonomy and awaiting a BC then put together to make sure say the no run universities will be institution of knowledge like every other government office. Mm. We know what will be the history of many government offices for this country. Make we look for instance NEPA. We then give new name to what? PHCN. Now government been get them. But later I changed name when they say they're on Bondulam. Make we look NITEL. And our night, I don't do many naming ceremony. Yes, the Peking no great grow. If you leave that one, you feel mention one, two other things where it be say government don't handle. Okay, make we talk Nigeria Airways. Where it be say when it day operational. Now, these same government people kill them because they go, they go free flight, they do everything, nobody go pay. So, when we they talk of university, all these issues we don't happen with many government establishments. Now, to prevent our institutions of knowledge, so that at least to a great extent, those who really know about the matter, now they go to handle them. Now, what to make them create that autonomy, financial autonomy, governing autonomy, and that is why university gets governing council, where it be, say, those where they inside the system, where understand the dynamics of the system, now they go to make the decision. And at the same time, when we talk of this IPPIS matter, where it be, say, Professor Gunyemi, as such a person, don't talk about he talk and say, Office of the Attorney General of the Federation, according to the law, no even get the power mm -hmm. to instruct them, say, may they capture them. And the challenge where I get, be say, apart from the IPPIS matter, 
with the grant. Don't forget, say, he gets some amount of money where government promised since the first tenure of this administration, mm -hmm. where previous administration said took mouth, where be said they no fulfill. And the meaning to me be say they no really value the kind of thing where be say our universities they do for us. So uh, for me, uh, before the president give that order, particularly instructed by the office of the attorney general, the office of the uh, secretary of the government of the federation. Government don't forget certain things with the rule book. Now, it make us to the talk say, all the federal universities, you know, go feed, tell us, make we do it capture, because waiting guide our own functioning. Nobody does one. So, telling us to capture. Then at the same time, they talk about scam. Make a no lie for you. The people where they do this IPPIS, once you know them, it is for them to put one, two, three things, put on there. Because even when they start them, you get plenty of things where don't happen for IPPI. So say, people say, many people, they use and collect money when they don't work. Many people, they so use... There's some ghost workers. Go is, mm -hmm. Not be human being, they mm -hmm. put the name. Not be human being, they give number. This thing is public, not common knowledge for people where they say, don't they capture before. I tell you, say, I know person. If to say, no, I go call the name. One year plus, if they go Abuja, they write, say, when I, don't, when I stop my salary, he get three children. When I don't pay me my money, they, 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 they pay the money before, they just stop. So somebody don't do one wuru -wuru to the answer, substitute somebody's name for one year, give the person number to another person, then they collect the money, until the man fight the matter, nearly the rich court, before they restore him. And the person see the government service today. So for me, Make government try. Make them know they put cars before the horse. Because if they put cars before horse, our horse go take drive cars. So as the matter be now, now for government to eat the humble pie, say, university, so we no go run on it like that. In fact, part of the challenge we make university, they talk, we say, the money apart from this IPPIS. Don't forget, say, get one money where they owe universities, where they never pay, mm -hmm. in different forms. When they first of all look universities and how to fund universities, after university people don't do their own assessment, they can't get independent assessors from government. What he say? The money where it be say, as one the rest say, universities go they need every year for their running. The one where them even quote too small. Government assessors can't put the money differently so that at least they go fee fund universities well. Now the thing where government people use their hand assess, now, now part of what they never pay. And I also remember. So during the first time of Adamu Adamu, the current Minister of Education, when the beggar of the money start, we asked to say, we go go strike, we go go strike. He talk once in that time, say, okay, by the week following the strike, where the matter don't hold, said they're going to pay the money. This is another tenure. This they don't give him another four years to be Minister of Education. The problem, see, they end. And what did they happen again? They say, if you see people where be, say, occupy some position, even if you don't get full knowledge, get people where go give you sufficient information. In fact, what in Adamu Adamu suppose don't do? Because I don't they look for what in talk since for this matter. He never make any official statement to the person who employer. Why you get minister be say they go advise the person who appoints them to take the best of decision in relating with the respective ministry. But now Adamu Adamu keep quiet like say this matter no concern him. And now you be minister of education. You suppose advise the president, advise the uh, office of the secretary of the government of the federation say this matter now so make on and leave them. And at the same time, the time when government says, they can say, by the end of October, if they don't capture anybody, what did they do since for how many years? So my own concern is say, is they very, very critical? Make government understand how the system they work, because many times now we they complain about, say, you go make law for one hand, you go use another and test out the law. So if we get what they don't call duplication of law, it could be a problem. If an act say universities they autonomous, if governing council day, where it be say it ensure say university lecturers and workers they properly motivated to do their work, and if the university even understand how to pull their resources together to make sure say things work, why government going to give them this kind of military instruction? All of these things might be my concern. Education not be government general office. It is very different. For instance, they won't carry out researches. We're going to make them do innovative products. We're going to affect people. This IPPIS matter, any money where they pay, even into themselves, before you get them out, now bureaucracy, it go nearly cut your neck. So make them leave university, make them not spoil university education, what all this is that they talk about. Now, my own be that. Now, looking at this, I know you say it'll be the first time we ask so. Um, they, they get tangible reasons, very valid reasons for actually, actually wanting to go on strike. And knowing how often, you know, they, they always go on strike. And a lot of times, when two elephants they fight, 
Now, now the aunts now in the suffer. Now we 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 get people, we get brothers, sisters, children for inside this university they suffer. This federal government people where we they deliberate, we ask them deliberate with. A lot of times their children are not in any of these public universities. They are going to for their children's uh, graduation in Harvard in this university. You go to see them for social media. They know they are affected. So people they come outside they ask say how effective this strike did. Right from 19 Columba where the thing don't start. Look, looking at how now we, you talk and say you spent a certain number of years inside university where you're supposed to spend a shorter year. Mm -hmm. I also spent more than I was supposed to stay in school. I know how jam they jam all of us, looking at the educational system in general. How effective a strike be? Well, you know, say, at times, if you talk of the impact we as to they get for some of these agitations that they make, oftentimes we won't look at in Naira and Kobo. But one of the things we will know they look at the level of sensitization of the general public. Where before now the thing say, why be say every small thing, as you go say strike, as you go say strike. The truth be say, again, one language where this government don't understand now, now strike. Because the year of government, be like say, they put cotton wool with red oil. So it don't block everything we go make them fit waiting, hear or understand what's in the apple. My own matter for here be say, it is important to say, make us hold one thing where they fit to get government attention. Make a shock you. Last year, before the eighth assembly end, Honorable Sergius Ogun will be representative of Edo Not. Quote me here. Last year, before the eighth assembly end, of course, we know after the election, this and I end. That should be whether early this or late last year. Sergius Ogun, House of Rep member, where they represent Edo Not. Sponsor one bill, say, make every government op op office holder, people like Buari, where two of your children don't nearly finish school for university, and one not finished before, people like uh, Oshibajo, where some of their children know in this country, say, make everybody, even them, all their children, the school for here. You know what's happened? <laughs> Fellow lawmakers, kill the bill. Say, lie, lie. We know what this can be. Make I tell you the truth. Most of these universities, what they talk about, the people we get them. Now, many of those people with the government. You're talking about the private universities. The private universities. So, if you look at the ownership of private universities, you know, go make them want to do what they're supposed to do for government universities. And as you self do some of this, I make them, they say, we they insist, say, this thing where they happen with most. Now, make I tell you this thing. You will be say, for instance, you suppose ensure, say, universities function, although your children, they are abroad. You know, function that go strike. Anytime where you go abroad, because the global village, they go to ask you questions. You come abroad there for your children. The university where you're supposed to take care of, what's it happen to our house? Now, even disgrace. So, even if now disgrace, then they disgrace them. Even if now for people to know, say this public office holder, now very wicked human being, but he put him picking there. And don't forget, they're not hide. Or you both not go do convocation and be matriculation, hide him. That open place. So if now the pictures we go get, so that when they return, we vote many of them out, or we tell them, say, we recall them, it is enough. So for me, make them call this strike. And I won't beg these Nigerians, make them understand, say, now the only lifeline where universities get to take pin maintain be this. If not, everybody, they trouble. Well, like, say, the now, you know what, you know, maybe coming from here, now, maybe, maybe we're actually coming from here, because when you see issues like this, you they try to understand who they benefit more. Because you will see junior lecturers coming out to say this particular um, is seeking for autonomy of um, the payroll system. They actually benefit the senior lecturers more than them. And they actually go with the federal government operating the account. Because now looking at them, um, you see the nice senior lecturers, they actually clamor and say, yes, we, want, we don't want the federal government to actually operate our account to so decide the salary they will give us or deduct or whatever. Why the junior lecturer at the talk say, if you give autonomy to these universities, they could they deduct on our salary? Make I tell you the truth. All senior lecturers today, you get the time where they say they'll be junior lecturers. So every junior lecturer where they talk of say that they deduct from a salary, you collect loan, you know one pay. Nobody could just deduct your money for any reason. I know they like make some junior lecturers begin paying picture where they're wrong. Nobody go just deduct your money for any reason. And but there are some big right the reason why they talk this one because say I grew up in the educational system and I understand fully what they happen. It they get sometimes where they say no reason at all, especially when this university now that they handle the payroll system. No reason at all, but you could just to say some deduction just they enter the junior lecturer's um, salary and for no reason at all. But if I if, if we make we talk this and story, nobody to report to make I tell you, if you really check these issues of deductions, unwarranted deduction, what you talk about, mm. um, 
Now, matter will be say you don't say where they are. Yes, I agree. But I won't tell you the truth. The matter of unwarranted deduction don't really reduce for universities now. But I won't tell you another thing. Any money will then deduct for junior lecturer's salary. I tell you, now what you be say if you find I go no say one reason or the other and I make a map. Nobody say they could just wake up deduct people money. But if you come overall, look the importance of say universities they autonomous for their money. I feel tell you for free, say the benefit outweigh this issue. Because all this clamor. But autonomy not get young um, bad sides. No, 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 no. It just, it, it, because now with the talk, say the local government should have autonomy over their account too. Now universities should have. No, me, no, no, get no, no, no. That one, another different one. We don't want to actually leave no, them. But me, no, if you say not get young corruption, you, if, if you they talk inside. of local government autonomy, now the same lawmakers mm. across the federation say they don't want them. Because most of those people, where they are that level, they are products or offshoots of the state government. Now make them they talk that one. Mm -hmm. And now simply because many of them know the reason where. Because if you they talk of local government, now they're close to the people part. The responsibility where the local government neck, now plenty part. But in fact, they don't reverse that one. Local government, they get their money recently. They, know, they don't come out that, that particular wala. Mm -hmm. But at the talk of when they suppose agree to make sure say local government gets autonomy, autonomy. that time. But as we they talk now, make we understand something. Anytime we it concerns education, it be like say it is very important to school this government very, very afresh on issues we concern education. And I know why they talk about anytime we they talk about education for this country, people they think say a small matter. The little usefulness where we get for this country now still be say some people hold on to the education system and then they help the system. Because if you look at Nigeria, only yesterday, in excess of 50 containers of expired rice then push them into this country. So if that aspect don't they messed up and many other aspects, why governments where they fully control most of this thing go also won't control this particular education. And and in it very bad. What in the pay me pass for this matter be say many people we don't go through this education system. We get a number of lecturers with the House of Rep or House of Assembly, those we don't deal within the education system. This is not time for them to stand up, to speak to the issue. Okay, another matter, where they happen now, operation, show your identity, where mm. they say, army be one do. In the first place, now which person they advise army to take up the role? In the first place, why army go be the one? Where they say, go one do operation, show your identity. Army, ordinarily, no vessel. I bring this matter in for us to know many, 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 many things where they happen. In the first place, now police responsibility. Often times to do all that kind of thing. Why be say suddenly you they bring army into civilian situation? These are some of the issues where be say government go just choke neck inside. And I be say lawmakers don't say, which kind of matter be this one? Where be say, now nah, army you want to run. Now military regime. So for me, make government no start waiting go affect many people. Now the, you talk about say ground, I be ants, now they suffer, went to elephant fight. I agree. But time don't come for the ants to say, ah, I don't go let them kill me for this matter. Because if you look at if this strike happen now, some people won't graduate, they go suspend the graduation. Mm -hmm. Some people will don't enter, they go suspend their continuing continue lecture. Some people will believe, say, okay, I want to do some other things with my life, they go suspend them. I know, say, they pain, but there are times you have to fight this fight for you to deliver. Because these people know they agree. And if you know, say, they know they agree, okay, all the promises were they made before, up until this time. How many of them they don't fulfill to university lecture? So what in the there, what they go do now? Now the reason why why would they look at for in terms of this strike, whether it's effective or not, now say if you look the number of private universities where they spring up every day, be like said that grass where they plant until they come up. And the number of private universities are beginning to rise as compared to the number of public universities. And if you look at private universities, they come out because they see say there's a lot of insecurity and um, inactivity for inside the private public universities. And parents are now beginning to migrate. From putting their children into public universities where they know say four years course, fifty be seven years course. You know better make particular day private universities. And like you talk, these private universities are owned by major stakeholders. So it can't be like say this strike fee be waiting they want so that people will won't get admission into these public universities or some of them will they consider to move to private universities. Now is the right time for them to make their choice make in sure. terms of moving. Make I tell you eh, if you look at our population and the number of those who be say they that demographic of say day school. A number of poor people who won't go public university. They see plenty pass away they go to private I university. Agree. So that I number agree. now you know go even touch. Because mm -hmm. me, I know, see, the number of people where they go our public universities. See then their numbers. Yeah, but it's not by population. Remember no, no, the 80-20 uh, rule? I, I, now twenty percent of the population I actually they enjoy the benefit they, they, they get the affluence where they feel influence the remaining eighty percent. Well, you so, feel talk so, but I won't numbers. make you understand, say 
Those twenty percent where they get the affluence, where they invest, you know the last. Make I tell you, for Bolivia now, Begede, for Argentina, peaceful election don't happen. Mm -hmm. For Chile, Wahala Day. For some African countries. Now you go, you go think say the twenty percent they get affluence. Now for Lebanon, for instance, now I really don't retire, resign only yesterday because of say all these people we know the green. Make I know like these things know they go on forever. I won't tell you the truth. We don't get Arab Spring. I don't call the one where they happen for South America, South American winter. Sub-Saharan Sub Hamatan. Mm. Now me call on that name. It they come very soon. Make I know life for you. All of these things where then they do, it no go go on forever. Because number one, it they on record say when I reject, say make public office holders children they go to school for you. It they on record. It they on record say when I go promise to give so so and so amount, when I go no go do them. All these things they gather momentum. The day where it go fall on their head. We go there life to say and say, but we talk this thing. So make a no life for you. We feel see you say, ah, many people go there affected. Many people go suffer. But I won't tell you the truth. Great democracies of this world don't go through more problematic situations that we don't go through. And if to say they don't go through those challenges, they don't go come out better as they day now. I agree with you, but because the time not be our friend, so we need to actually wrap up this particular time. But thank you so much, Adin Yikunu, uh, our political analyst, in-house political analyst in the Olay's Day for Nigeria Info. So I guess you don't actually hear in voice uh, on top of Nigeria Info. Thanks a bunch. Talking about thank the integrated payroll and To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.